Hey guys, it's Carrie. How's it going? Welcome to the garage. So, <laughs> I haven't been out here in a while because, well, work has been ooh, work. <laughs> so, um, I think I did these pages with you guys. Um, that was kind of the last journal with me I think I did. Um, and then that was kind of it. <laughs> it's, you know, this was the, this was the 12th and we are all the way over here on the 25th and I, no, the 24th and I haven't done Jack Diddley squat. So we're going to do some stuff, some stuff and some things. Oh, how y'all doing? What's happening? Anything fun? I uh, have just been crazy with work, but mentally I'm doing a whole lot better. I think I'm just gonna go around this. Uh, so there's gonna be a lot of cutting and talking and talking and cutting and pasting and gluing and sticking and writing and you know, what we do in our journals. So, Robin is in the house cleaning. I was like, babe, <laughs> wait, I'm, I want to play. I don't want to, I don't want to clean. She's like, I got a burst of energy, so I'm going to do it now. I'm like, all right, you party on with your bad self. I'm going to be in the garage filming a video. <laughs> oh, I have to show you guys what I've been doing this morning. Woo-hoo-hoo. I can find everything. All right, see, eh? This is just gonna be a stack of mess here. I'm just gonna go, I'm just gonna flop it. It's not even all dry, but I don't care. Like it's, it's yumminess. Oh my goodness, come on. Work, fingers, work. Yumminess, yumminess, yummies. A bunch of, these are nine by 12. Um, papers and they're gonna make excellent pages for my journals look at that yumminess uh, I've just been using I've been using gouache that Nicole sent me so I need to write down Nicole because I mentioned her in my video and I have been using watercolors and I've been using my alcohol ink sprays and they are homemade. It's food coloring and alcohol. Oh, I love them. I think there's one that I actually didn't like. Look at that, pow, boom, shakalaka. I am, I'm gonna scan all these because I want to save. Even that one, which is kind of muddy, is still fun. Oh, they're just so pretty. Look at that. Boom. That even has like some thick, some thick paint and it's wet. So, um, I may have to like give them a little rub down before I throw them through my scanner. Cause I don't want them to be jacked up. Just the smushiness of colors. Oh, same way on that one. The gouache reactivates. Uh, so does the watercolor. The only thing that doesn't reactivate is the alcohol ink. Oh, and I think I used a couple of, um, dilutions sprays which they also react to water so it's going to be interesting when i use the pages for for my journals oh kapow so much fun just yummy mm. The blues and the pinks and the purples and the orange. There's the one that I think, I think that's the one that I didn't care for too much. Yeah, I didn't care for this one too much, but actually it kind of got better. But you know, once you add stuff to the top of them, so that's probably two journals worth. I didn't count and I'm not gonna bore you guys with counting. <clears throat> All right, squeaky chair. 
squeakiness. All right, so this was the 13th. Let's find a glue stick that has glue. That one does not have glue. Do you have glue? I didn't even get out one of my little things. I'm unorganized. Usually I'm rip raring to go when I start, but this time I'm not, and I don't care how long the video is. I hope that you guys stick around to the end, but if you don't, you don't. Speaking of which, I haven't checked my subscriber count in a couple of days, but I think I'm, I don't know, 20 something away from, maybe 30, I don't know, from 500 subscribers, and I'm planning on doing a giveaway. So if you guys know anybody that likes art journaling and other arty crap that I do, um, Send them my way. Send them my way. All right. So, you know what? Let's just do the numbers. Maybe. I don't know. I can't decide. I can't decide what I want to do. So, we'll just put the numbers here. Because I know that, like, it's rainy and cold laundry and I have this image that I've been waiting to use for laundry for <laughs> a while I just think she's cute with her little bubble gum I wonder if I should just put it smack dab in the middle because I worked and did laundry and that's pretty much all I did this day I know there's not color on this page but I'm on any of these pages but I'm planning on adding some either with just markers or you know, maybe some of my spray, my alcohol sprays. I don't know what I want to do with this, so let's just move this out of the way. Oh, it's been, it has been busy. Work has picked up, which is good. I, you know, I need the money, and um, so, but you know, when you're kind of used to just chilling, <laughs> you don't really want to work. I think I'm going to put it right here. Just like, like a so. <clears throat> and then let's see what else we got. I've got different images for different pages and we'll just slap them down. See, I don't even know what I did last Saturday and Sunday. I have no idea. Um, I, oh yeah, guys. <laughs> so my right eye has been so bad that you know that's kind of another reason that I haven't been out here is because I could I literally could not see um and I mean fuzzy dry bawling eye you know I mean how can your eye be dry and crying at the same time so it made me think of Will Smith <laughs> from Hitch, the movie Hitch. Oh, heaven forbid. Heaven, Lord, have mercy. So I uh, I went to the eye doctor because I couldn't take it anymore. And, um, you know, I thought my prescription was just awful. I thought it was allergies. You know, I mean, everything was just, it, uh, bleh, it was awful 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 guys I, I was miserable and um so I went and he did an exam so he he charged me under my medical insurance instead of my vision insurance because it was more of a medical appointment than like a glasses exam and so um I wonder if I have some eyes or something somewhere. Let's look in these rainbow sticker things. Um, oh, look, there's an eye right there. So anyway, um, we, uh, you know, he looked and stuff, and I have a hereditary um, condition that he didn't really have a name for where my bottom eyelid separates from my eyeball. And I remember, like, I have my grandmother and great-grandmother's eyes. And 
then my great aunt as well was always, always, always putting eye drops in her eyes. And so, um, sorry, I'm umming a lot. So there we go. There's some eyes. Let's just find any eyes that we can. <clears throat> so anyway, my eyes are completely and utterly dry, which doesn't surprise me. I have eczema. And so my whole being is just dry. So look, there's some more eyes. So he gave me so many eye drops. <laughs> Let's see. I have one that is like, it's like an ointment guys, like that I put in my eyes at night and it keeps them moist <laughs> all night long. And then I have, after I use that for about a week, I have a gel that I'll put in my eyes at night. And then all day long, I have one that I use. And then he gave me a prescription, which I have not been able to get yet because they had to order it and they have not called me to let me know that it's in. So yeah, so many. I think I wanna put ouch in stickers. I do. Um, so <laughs> I am constantly putting stuff in my eyes so they don't hurt. And it has helped tremendously. My vision is now better. Uh, I'm still going to go in a couple of weeks to get, you know, my glasses checked. Uh, to see if I need a new prescription or anything, but man, all right, yeah, miserable was an understatement. Ouch. Uh, so yeah, that was that was kind of that that day. Um, and I just never knew like how much better my eyes could feel, and they're still I'm still pretty. Um, miserable at times I spend a lot of time on the computer and on my phone and 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 you know so there's that <laughs> that's what happens when you um, stare at a screen all day so I've been taking time at night to just go watch TV in the bedroom because it's across the room. What is that? Oh, it's an inn. Okay, it's just not gonna. <laughs> oh, boy. Crazy. Uh, I'm so ready to go fishing and camping and, well, Robin's version of camping is Motel 6, so. <laughs> We don't do much of that. All right. These sticker books are so fun. I have, <laughs> I've got a problem, guys. I've got a problem. Okay, so this day, um, Derek Chauvin was found guilty. Um, this is not a, obviously, a political channel. Where'd it go? Yeah, um, not a political channel. I have my own personal beliefs about how wonderful I think this is. Um, I absolutely 1000% support, 1000% support our law enforcement. The good ones. There's bad apples in every every everything and unfortunately 
um, George Floyd ran into one. And I know George Floyd was no saint. And he likely would not have been on the ground had he been complying. Um, so there's two sides to every story. Unfortunately, he lost his life in this one and it makes me sad that our country is, it even has to worry about this stuff. I hope that makes sense. And I'm, like I said, I'm trying not to be political. Um, let's see. I think I kind of maybe want to do, let's see. I don't know. We'll figure that part out later. But at least we have that there. All right. Oh, God. This day. <laughs> so Robin and I have a, or had, a hardwired into the ceiling probably put in when the house was built in the 70s um fire alarm smoke detector whatever you want to call it and that sucker just decides to go off sometimes for no apparent reason now here's the thing it has gone off when there's been excessive smoke in the kitchen from <laughs> people attempting to cook. Um, and, you know, so it, it, it worked. However, we didn't trust it. So we have, in addition to that, two more detectors in, in our hallway. And one of them is a CO2. And, you know, being a host home provider, you know, we're required to have that stuff. But we, I mean, we had it before. But, you know, we have to test it and, you know, do all that. So, Wednesday morning, the thing went off and would not stop. It was so loud. <laughs> and so annoying <laughs> that, um, you know, I tried everything. The thing, the thing is so old, it doesn't even have like a, a reset button on the outside of it. So I am, you know, this is at 715 in the morning. I am standing in my pajamas, which consists of underwear and a t-shirt on a step stool with a screwdriver, taking that thing apart bit by bit while it's screaming in my face. And <laughs> it was, it was just so bad. So it would stop. And so I would get down and then it would start up again. So I would get back up there. I banged on it. I tried pulling on some wires, but I was too scared. And of course, Robin was too scared and M was too scared that I was going to electrocute myself. <laughs> so, M was like, why don't you just call the fire department? <laughs> so we did. <laughs> so at 7.45 in the morning, we have four very handsome, mind you, young firemen in our house. <laughs> So they went outside, flipped the breaker, cut the wires, capped them off, shoved them up in the ceiling, and that was that. So <laughs> that was uh, that was exciting. The dogs were not thrilled that we had men in our house uh, and men with um, they don't mind men, but men with gigantic uniforms on. You know, because they have to wear 500 pounds of gear. So. Um, 
Yeah, I've just been I've just been going online and, and getting stuff out to print. Um, so we also had planned for this day anyway for a heater guy to come out because our heater's been acting weird and so here in the desert we have we don't have air conditioning. Now some houses do some of the newer houses, but all of the older houses have what's called a swamp cooler and uh the the swamp cooler needs shut down in the winter time so that it doesn't freeze and crack all the little tubing pipes and stuff and then restart it up in the summer so that's what he was going to do was going to come over and get our heater um fixed and blah 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 Six hundred dollars later, he's like, "Well, this took longer than I thought, so we're not going to be able to start your cooler up today. So you'll need to call and make a new appointment for that." I'm like, "Oh my god!" And in the meantime, I called an electrician to have him come out to give us an estimate about the freaking thing in the ceiling and some other electrical issues that we're having. This this day had my anxiety like through the roof. Oh, my Lanta. But, you know, we made it. We made it. We made it through. And, you know, Robin was late for work. And um, because we had firemen at our house. and But we're also required to do fire drills um, for our host homing. So we got a fire drill in. <laughs> everybody, everybody did good. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just, I'm, it, it's comical now. Have you ever seen the movie The Money Pit with um, Tom Hanks? That's our house sometimes. That's what a, owning your home does for you. <laughs> and then the 22nd was Earth Day. And a day to breathe. <laughs> I got to breathe. So I'm just sticking this stuff down and I'm going to add color later. I think, uh, you know, I figured that while I was kind of trimming stuff and gluing stuff and all that, I'd bring you along. So obviously I worked all week. Friday, see, I was, really? Well, we can get this on here. I don't know how it got wet, but whatever. I was playing with wet, wet paint and stuff so rainy and cold oh yeah i chatted with trudy um and i know there was a raccoon in my animal journal um i don't know if i have anything i had to go to the mall on the 14th ew let's see let's see what i got Magnifique, magnif magnifique. I'm trying to put the emphasis in the wrong syllables. Constantly. It's okay to be a mess. Oh yeah, and this day, you know, this is kind of how I've been feeling, the whole allergy thing. And I found that in a magazine and I thought it was hysterical. So I've been saving it for forever to use in my journal. probably make some raindrops on there or something that was for this day chatted with Trudy and she wanted a, rac a raccoon I just try to find stuff that's like fitting of and I know there was a raccoon in here just kind of fitting of what we did or talked about or whatever where was the raccoon I know that there's one in here I 
raccoons are cats. Carrie, they're not going to, raccoon's not going to be on the cat page. I can pretty much guarantee it. Let's see, what else has been going on in my world? I know that I saw one. So guys, keep Miss Trudy in your thoughts. Um, her dog, Teddy, that she just got didn't work out. And it's not my place to, to tell the whole story. Um, but yeah, he just, he just didn't work out. And so she had to, she had to rehome him. And so he's, you know, he's safe. He's not hurt, but it just broke her heart, which, you know what, if I had to do any of that with my dogs, I would be very sad. Very, very sad. So let's write down chat. with Trudy. She is uh, Gaga Toots on YouTube. She doesn't have um, a, a channel. You know, she doesn't do videos, but um, she is, uh, she watches a lot of us and supports a lot of us. So anyway. We become good friends. So, all right. No, I'm just going to smack this down, like right there. It's kind of weird working on white pages, but that's the good thing about white pages is that you can add color. You can't take away color, you can add color there. Okay. Well, that's nice. I've managed to smudge. Guess what? That can be covered with a sticker or color or something. Okay. Let's put some... Let's see how much time I've drug you through here. 27 minutes? Uh, let's do a little bit more. Oh, let's see. Um, oh, yeah. This was 420. And... Although I am, I don't imbibe in the devil's lettuce, as some people call it. Um, I don't care if you do. If you are of a legal age, then you smoky smoky or edible edible all you want to want to. Let's put this piece of paper over here because I'll use it for something. I saw a meme for the 19th that said, be sure to leave milk and cookies out for um, Snoop Dogg. <laughs> it's 420 Eve. I thought that was hysterical. <clears throat> Oh yeah, when did we take this picture? It's Miss M with Oakley cuddled in there. So cute. I think that was like, was that Thursday? It must have been Thursday. So hey. And then my jam lately has been One Republic. Um, the song that I'm obsessed with right now by them is called Rescue Me. It's a good one. I might as well just cut it out and plop it down somewhere. What are you guys' jams? What do you guys like to listen to? I'm always game for new music. I like so much music I can't even pinpoint. 
you know? I mean, everything from some rap, not, not, not a lot, to some hard rock, not a lot. Um, I want to be able to understand, you know, well, I guess that would be heavy metal. I'm not really into heavy metal. Um, but if I can understand it, maybe. And then, um, let's round these corners. Around, around the corner. Um, why is everything wet? Oh, jeez. Um, what was I saying? Oh, yeah. And then, you know, like, I'm not a big fan of opera, but, it, you know, it can be extremely beautiful. I like instrumental music. I like drums. I, you know, you name it. Pop. Rock. Especially 80s rock. Um... You know, I even like Nickelback. <laughs> Some people don't, and I don't really understand why. But whatever, whatever, whatever. To each their own, right? And, uh, let's see, let's put this, like, what did I do yesterday? Oh, yeah. I don't know. I worked a lot yesterday. Uh, but anyway, but today I've been, I've been out here jamming this morning while I was working on those papers, uh, all those colored papers. You know what, I want to put, I want to do something cattywampus. Let's cattywampi that. All right, and so today I played in the garage. Can't wait to scan those, but I want them, like I said, to be super dry because I don't want to run them through my scanner wet. I'll just decorate these pages however I want and try and remember a few things. But yeah, guys, like, um, you know, I still have a little bit of journaling to do here and there. Um, but for the most part, we're good. So if you liked what you saw, please give me a big thumbs up. If you're new here, please feel free to subscribe. I love all my subbies, and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.